the last constraint we want to cover is the check constraint so I went ahead and created the following table the table is called my courses and the table has course ID combined with semester ID as the primary key as we can see right here and then it has the course name start date and end date so what I want to do is I want to make sure that the start date for the course comes before the end date I can accomplish this with uh, a check constraint so I can say something like alter table let me refresh this to auto complete for me alter table my courses and then what I will say is add constraint and I will give it any name so um, let me say um, my courses underscore um, start date underscore LT for less than underscore end date and then the type of the constraint is going to be check and inside my check I will say start date is less than end date So this constraint is going to prevent me from inserting any record in which the end date comes before the start date or even uh, at the same date. Now keep in mind that this will only work if you have SQL, SQL version 8.0.16. So if you have an earlier version, the constraint will still be added to the table but when you try to insert some data it is going to ignore this constraint because it's not supported until a newer version of um, MySQL oh, so uh, another way that we can choose uh, we use this um, remember when we look at the dependent table so we have relationship I can limit this to a specific values so it is kind of like enum which is when we created tables we basically were able to have some values using the data type enum so if you are not using enum you can basically limit them with a check constraint it is going to be the same thing alter table and then I will uh, type in the table name so my table that I want to change is dependent and I'll say add constraint and the constraint name is uh, let me call it dependent check and then I will say check inside my check I will mention the column the column is relationship falls in this set so um, let me say y comma husband and then um, let's say just child so this is going to make sure that when I enter anything other than these in the relationship column it is not going to accept it okay so uh, again the same thing is going to happen here you will need MySQL version 8.0.16 or higher to be able to support this now the final thing about constraints is basically I want to be able to look or look up basically all of the constraints on one of my tables so let me go back and um, look at my dependent table so I want to get all the constraints either on the dependent or on the department table it's going to work the same um, this is the command so select star from uh, information underscore schema dot table 
underscore constraints and then we'll say where table name so table underscore name is equal to whatever table name I want to get the constraints for so if it's department for example it is going to give me all the constraints of the department so now these are all the constraints on my department primary key unique foreign key and I can change them delete them or do whatever I want with them so let's see how we can remove the constraints so to remove the unique constraint uh, we will do what we call dot index so alter table and then the table name is department and I will say drop index and I will provide the constraint name so this is the constraint name that I use so DEP underscore name underscore UNI this is going to remove the unique constraint for me so now the unique constraint is gone let me just comment this out to have it here now what else I need to remove let me say um, the foreign key that I have here so we have seen this so alter table and then again department and what I will say is drop foreign key and then I will provide the foreign key name so um, this is the foreign key name that I have and then let me just run this now the foreign key is gone uh, the check is the same but it's going to be drop check so supposing that I have some kind of check constraint although I don't but what I will do is let me comment this out and um, it is going to be drop check and then followed by the check constraint name and then finally um, the one that we want to drop is the primary key so I didn't have a check constraint in there so the last one I need to drop is my primary key and this is the easiest one to do so alter table and then department and I'll just say drop primary key okay so if I run this I don't have any constraints right now on my table and this concludes it for the constraints